Here we'll look at how we can make a true or false question, a yes or no question, or a question that has uh, two possible answers and where the students respond with potentially the correct response. So all we do is we go to add new and then we go to choice and by default we get uh, two options and then we get a space to write our question in. So we're going to write our quick question here. I started by deleting that blue area and then I write in my question. And really interestingly, you can see that we've got some suggest suggested options here already. So, you know, you've got some colours there, which is fun. I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to choose that one. And um, I don't have to choose those. Of course, I could write those in. And certainly for some of the questions that you you ask, they won't necessarily come up with a suggested option. So all you need to do is activate the box and type in your response. Now, when we've done that, you can see a number of things going on here in terms of icons. If you're not happy with the response, you want to get rid of it, you can click on the dustbin there and then delete. If you want to um, select what is the correct response, so what colour is the sun, we're going to say that the correct answer is orange. So we're going to click on that tick there and that's telling uh, the computer that that is the correct response. Um, you can see as well that if we wanted to, we could put, you see these little speech bubbles here, we could put um, a bit of feedback for the respondent when they've selected that response. So I'm not necessarily saying that you have to do this, but there is this option as well. So um, you could click on that and then you write in what you want to when they choose that response. Uh, click on that again to come out of that and do the same. If it's the wrong response, you can click something in there to say that's not correct, or perhaps you can explain why that might be, um, why they've arrived at the wrong response. Click on that to come out again. So that is a very simple way of doing true, false, yes, no, or select the correct response out of these two choices. And just to finish this video, if you want your students to take this question um, and that it's compulsory, then you need to go down here to required and just toggle across there. And that means that there will be a little asterisk that appears when the question, when they see the question and they have to do this and the, the, the computer won't let them move on if they haven't taken that. And lastly, you can see down here we've got points. If you hover in the box there, you can give a value to uh, the question. So in this case, I'm going to give it one point, obviously one mark, one, uh, one point. And so a couple of points there, points there and required, and then we're ready to go.